May I now request Mr. Dubey to present the salient features of the Tata Nano and its booking process. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Tata, Mr. Ravi Khan, my senior colleagues from the company, members of the press, uh, a warm welcome from my side. This is just a small uh, presentation that we put together on some of the information that is already in the public domain, which we would reconfirm to those of you uh, who would not be sure about the information. And there would be some information that uh, would be uh, fresh for the audience. <coughs> The presentation is, uh, covers the car and its features, the booking process that we are, are going to go through, the financing partners that we've lined up uh, to enable our customers to book and own the cars, and a whole host of merchandise and accessories uh, which we are launching simultaneously with the car. Some of these details on the car are already out, but as I said, I'll uh, reconfirm those, the car Nano comes with an all aluminum two-cylinder inline 624cc rear gasoline engine. Uh, this is a first uh, for a car in India in terms of having an engine at the rear. It is an electronic multi-point fuel injection with EPROM technology. It delivers a fuel efficiency of 23.6 kilometers per liter, which has been certified by the ARAI. And if you remember uh, the, the, the promise that the company had made at the time of the unveiling was a minimum uh, fuel efficiency of 20 kilometers per liter. It is Bharat Stage 3 compliant as far as emissions are concerned. It is ready for Bharat Stage 4. And more importantly, in terms of carbon dioxide emissions, which have been concerning the auto world worldwide, it emits just 101 grams per kilometer, which is the lowest for any car in India, and much ahead of uh, the European legislation uh, of 130 uh, grams per kilometer, which is uh, being talked about for 2012. It comes with a four-speed synchromesh transmission with overdrive. And what is unique about the car, and this is something that uh, is, is widely known, it has one of the smallest footprints available for any car, not only in India, but in other parts of the world. It, with a length of just about three meters, and with the powertrain that we've imbibed it with, uh, imbi imbibed it with uh, the car has a top speed of 105 kilometers per hour. So, it is not as if we've compromised in any, in any way in, in the drivability of the car while, while conceiving the car. Coupled with the small footprint that it has, uh, it also has the smallest turning circle diameter, uh, radius uh, uh, for any car of just four meters. Now this helps uh, in the tight urban traffic situations that are being confronted in most cities, this car would be amongst the easiest to maneuver and park. To counter the Indian roads and, and, and otherwise, it has a high ground clearance of 180 millimeters and also comes with an appreciable uh, gradient capability of 30 percent. Not only does the Nano meet the Indian safety regulations in all its aspects, it exceeds the, uh, the, uh, the rollover and the offset impact uh, to S, which are not yet mandated in India. So the apprehension that some people uh, outside have that it would not comply with safety standards is not, fully, uh, is not only fully at risk, but uh, as you can see, it meets some of the legislation that is not yet uh, in India. And in keeping with uh, the warranty that we offer in all Tata cars, it comes with an 18 months warranty or 24,000 kilometers, whichever is earlier. <coughs> and Mr. Tata has already mentioned that uh, the car is available in three trim levels. Uh, these are some of the key features uh, of the car. The base version is a non-air conditioned version. Uh, 
the CX version, which is the mid-end version, comes with uh, both heating and air conditioning and with trim levels which uh, become more premium compared to the, uh, to the base version. And the, uh, and the top end LX version uh, has all the features of the mid-end CX, uh, but uh, tops it up with, uh, uh, with features like front power windows, fog lamps, central locking, spoiler, uh, body colored exteriors and so on and so forth. Uh, many of these features uh, you would not find in the existing, uh, some of the existing small cars that exist in India today. I think what has uh, been achieved uh, by uh, the project team that put this car together is an inc uh, incredibly spacious car which is 21% more spacious than the current smallest car available in India today.